Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a thrift haul. Uh, this is a fun one and this was a dollar day. So this is some dollar items, some regular price and the average cost of goods per item was $3.42 per item. So uh, definitely not a bad cost for me. I think I found some fun stuff and let's just jump right in. If you aren't subscribed and you like reseller content, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And as always, hit the thumbs up. Let me know. I very much appreciate it. All right. So I normally, sometimes I sell things because I get everything listed before I do my haul videos. And normally I put this at the end of the video, but these are things that are selling very quick for me. So I thought, well, this time, why don't I just put it at the beginning? So I'm going to actually pop in a couple pictures. I have four items that have already sold for a decent return and very quickly. And then I will show you all the stuff sitting next to me. And uh, yeah. All right. So um, all of these were on eBay um, and they all sold within a few days of being listed. So the first item is uh, a, an Ann Taylor loft, the loft item. Um, I don't pick up a lot of loft, but this was a mustard yellow oversized chunky knit cardigan. It had two snaps on the front and it was an XL. Um, it was only, I believe, I believe it was only a few dollars. Um, so it was like 50% off or something. I think I stopped by an unusual store this day, so it wasn't all goodwill. Anyways, paid a few dollars for it. It sold within a few days for $34 plus shipping. And, uh, you know, sometimes those mall brands, if you find the right items, they can be really great sellers. And so I was happy with that one. Next up was a Citron Santa Monica blouse. This was a, um, kind of a kimono style blouse. It was a size one X and it, it sold within a day for $41.99. This actually had some kind of fuzzies on it. So I did trim a few of them, but I also just noted that there were kind of some fuzzies in the fabric and they still, it still sold for a decent return. So that is a brand I've had a lot of good luck with, um, usually in that $30 to $40 range, but the plus size of that brand tends to do pretty well for me. All right, next up is a brand I do not find very often called Jams World. Uh, I think I found it once and it was damaged at the bins. I don't know. Anyways, this dress was a size XL, blue floral, um, sleeveless, just a nice little vacation Hawaiian dress. I don't know. Anyways, sold for $40 within a couple days. And yeah, I would pick up that brand again if I found it. And then the last item, I found two from the same designer, Ming Wang. Um, so one of them's in this bag right here, but this one was a black and pink kind of a lightweight career jacket. Uh, and this sold for $48. The other one I'll show you in a second, but um, this was in great condition and it's the first time I picked up this brand. I've seen other people pick it up, have good luck with it. Um, and I found two that day. So those are my sales. Let's just jump right in to all this stuff. I feel like I should do the shoes. I found some shoes this day. Let's start with the shoes. <laughs> and I listed these a week ago, so it's gonna be, yeah. All right, first up, I did find some ankle boots which I love picking up ankle boots this time of year. I've also been selling some boots for men and women that I picked up in the last and listed, you know, six to eight months ago, kind of after the last winter. Now those are starting to sell. So I'm always excited to find boots. These are just a classic black ankle boot, has the zipper at the back, decent shape, um, you know, some light wear, but nothing major. So this is Donald Pliner. And these are a size eight and a half, just a little too small for me but um, just a classic style. So Donald Pliner, I don't have, it's not my favorite brand to pick up. Now that I'm noticing, there is a little bit of, no, that's just kind of, maybe I'll use a little shoe glue. The, um, this little flap right here, but it's on both of them and it's kind of the whole way. So maybe I'll just use a little bit of shoe glue on that just to kind of glue those back. But anyways, otherwise great shape, probably in the 30 to $35 range is what I'm expecting. All right, this is another pair of ankle boots. This is my first time picking this brand up. I think I found this at the bins one time and they were damaged or I couldn't find the pair. I know a lot of people do like selling this brand. Is that a little mark? A little suede? I think it's just the, yeah. Uh, so this is just another pair of ankle boots with the zipper. This is a brand called Bionic. If you can see in there. Really love this color, this kind of taupey color, but a lot of people seem to have good luck with this brand. These are in pretty great shape. And these are a size US 10, but I can't remember the style that I found, but this seems to be a pretty popular style. So I'm actually expecting more in that $40 range for these. 
All right, these are, I love this color. Are these my size? No, these are too big. I love this color. I would wear these for sure. Okay, these are another pair of ankle boots, but more of a heel, block heel. The zipper up the back. And here's the little logo. So you might know what the 67 is. This brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology, but not exclusive. Um, and it's also written out right there. So pretty good shape. There were a couple tiny spots and I just noted them. And now I can't find, oh, I think it's right there. Is that a little spot? It's hard for me to see in the viewfinder. Um, anyways, love this. Size 41 is equivalent to uh, 10 and a half, I wanna say. I believe I looked it up about a 10 and a half, 10, 10 and a half. And with boots, you know, a lot of people wear socks and stuff, but I absolutely think these are adorable. I believe I'm expecting, even with that spot on there, I'm expecting probably hopefully in that 35, 40 range. Here's a fun pair of Rebecca Minkoff shoes. I just, I wanna go, I wanna go dancing. Is anyone else like that? I used to go in San Francisco to like some live music, like DJs, and it's not like it was a big club or anything, but I just like, and then you see a pair of shoes, fun shoes like this, and I'm like, I would love to put on a cute little black dress, fun pair of shoes like this, and just go dance the night away. Someday, someday we'll get there. But anyways, I thought these were in really great shape, a really fun style. Love a little bit of the gl gladiator look to them. And then it's also got, what's up with all of them having this <laughs> zipper on the back? Rebecca Minkoff, I'm very hit or miss with. Um, I don't like to spend too much money on her stuff. Her stuff is expensive. I actually kept one of the bags that I found because the comps weren't that great, but it's a great bag. Um, you know, I get excited to find it, but then I always, when I look up comps, I'm re reminded that they just, most stuff is not that great resale value, but I thought these were adorable. So, and a size six and a half, I'm itching. All right, these were kind of unique. Oh, the Minkoff, I believe I'm looking at that 35 range. All right, these, you could just tell, they're just kind of unusual little bit of wear, but nothing major. It's got the uh, perforated, you know, leather lace up. Uh, this was a new to me brand. And I don't know, I can't even read it, to be honest. L-I-T-F-O-O-T. -O -O so lit foot, if you can see in there. And this is a size uh, 38. So these are about a seven and a half. Um, but this brand was new to me. I thought the style was unusual. I think I'm looking to get about 35, 40 for these and they're in pretty good shape and they seem comfortable. So we'll give that a brand a go. And then the last pair of shoes, I probably shouldn't have bought them because they're not in perfect condition. I bought them. My dad wears this brand, so I know it's, it's not cheap, but Okay, that is the last pair. Um, but these aren't in the best of condition. When I looked up similar styles, I'm probably not gonna get much. Now I didn't pay much for these, um, but these are just kind of a loafer with a low block heel. This is a brand called Mephisto. Now some Mephisto shoes can do really well. If they're in great shape, you know, you can get a really great return on them. But these just, you just I mean, the scuffs can be cleaned up a little bit. You can just see there's some wear on the inside and the style isn't super desirable. This is a uh, size six and a half, so maybe, yeah. But um, yeah, I'm probably only expecting so some light scuffs and you can use some leather conditioner, definitely, but um, I'm probably only expecting about 20 to 25 for these, probably about 25, but um, some of the stuff by this brand, it, it, these probably retail for about $200 if I had to guess. So it is a good quality brand with a loyal following, just probably should have looked them up in the store. All right. This is an Everlane jacket. I found another Everlane jacket a week or two before this. So I was really happy because I don't find a lot of Everlane and the jackets I've had decent luck with. Whoops. This is kind of a really classic utility jacket, kind of a daily jacket. It's got the pockets, full zip. And here is the, it is an extra small. I believe the other jacket, which was a different store was an extra small, but uh, just a navy blue, I think. Wow, my, my eyesight with this lighting in here is not great today, but just a really great basic. And I believe the comps for something like this were right about $40. This was probably my fun find of the day. I don't think there were any, yeah, this one was really fun to find. It's a Japanese, it's a men's item. I didn't get too many men's items. This might be the only one. And I think it was in the women's 
jackets, but um, it is Chamala. It's a Japanese. So when I was in the store, I noticed the style, the sleeves had this zip off part. So I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Usually like pant legs on hiking pants, you can remove the bottom half and, but then I noticed there's also a zip at the, so you can make the sleeveless short sleeve or full length. The tag was unusual. And then I went to the material tag and it says made in Japan. That's usually something I'm gonna look up. Um, so it, this is, yeah, this might go for like a hundred bucks. <laughs> Some of the stuff was selling to $300 by this brand, but um, it does have some pockets, it's a men's jacket. It's a size medium, but it seems very oversized. So I think that's just the style, but um, I just thought that the arms, the zip parts were just so unique that you could um, wear it in so many different ways. So that was a fun find. All right, this is a theory dress. My favorite types of dresses are shift, long sleeve black. Yep. That's if I had to wear one dress for the rest of my life, that would be it. And V-neck. So this is my dream dress. Um, <laughs> but it's by theory. Theory is one of those brands, very expensive retail, doesn't always have the strongest resale value. However, this is just a really classic little black dress. Um, I'm biased because I like the style. It's got this one pleat on the front, subtle little detail and the V-neck. Uh, this is a size six and it's, it's just a great basic. The comps on something like that is probably around that 30 mark. This was a new to me brand. And when I did some research, I believe they sell this at H home shopping network. One of those online or TV things. It's new with tags, which is why I looked it up. Um, so it's win layers. Um, and here's the regular tag. This is a size 2X and it's just this ombre, sheer, really beautiful blouse. It's gray, blue. So anyways, the comps for this looked, I think when I first looked it up in the store, I don't know why, but the comps looked much higher. And then I got home and actually listed it. And I'm probably expecting about 25 to 30, I believe for this. Um, so it's not bad. It's just, for some reason, I thought it was a little bit more, but all right, I got two Madewell tops, both size large and uh, similar style. So probably the same donor. So Madewell and size large. This is the window pane, something, something. So it's a shorter style, love the sleeves, um, button front, just a classic. The stock photos are adorable. Um, and it's a little bit more of a boxier fit with this pleat on the back, but so that's the first one. Both of these I'm expecting right about that $20 mark because of the size and style. So this is the second one. Not an identical style, but somewhat short, a little bit boxy, three fourth length sleeve with the little tie on the end of this one and more of the V-neck on this one, but they're both cute. And so yeah, probably about 20 for each. And I do list higher um, to allow some room for offers. So my closet, Poshmark closet and eBay store are linked below if you wanna go see any details. But this, I wish this was, I, this is too too big for me or I would keep it. Um, it's J Jill, it's extra large. I love, love, love eyelet detail. This just has kind of a peasant vibe, easy to wear. Um, to me, it look, <laughs> it's almost like a pregnant shirt, <laughs> maternity shirt. So I would not wear this but um, it's, it's absolutely adorable. Just kind of the off-white and probably in that $20 range as well. All right, this one I found, and then a week later, I've got stuff up there right now, I found a second one. Now I have found this brand, I have found this brand a few times, sold it a few times. I think I have one or two listed. I have realized that there's one style from this brand that I will always pick up, no matter the cost. I mean, within reason, like pay up to like $10 for it. Uh, every other piece from them hasn't done as well for me, but I've learned because someone actually, the first item I sold was a dress and they thought it was this dress and they wanted to return it. And I think this was when I was on Poshmark only and I, you know, Poshmark returns. She didn't have any, anyways. So it's Black Halo. I believe it's a Los Angeles based brand, which is why I tend to find it occasionally. 
Um, I have a jacket that's been listed for over two years by this brand that probably retailed for $150, but it's a denim jacket. It's cute. It's got lace accents on the wrists. It's been listed for over two years. It's not even that much and I can't seem to sell it. So this brand, this dress is pretty much all pickup, but it's called the Jackie O dress. And if you look up stock photos of this, Meghan Markle has worn this. A lot of um, celebrities have worn this. This is a sheath dress. It's uh, inspired by Jackie O. They have a couple other styles of dresses named after people like Aubrey Hepburn, I think. But it hits right at the knee and it does run small. So this is a size six, I believe, US six, and it doesn't fit on my US six mannequin, like not even close, couldn't even finagle zipping it up. So it does run small, but this dress has a very loyal following. This particular one, which I don't think it'll pick up, but it almost has a little bit of like a fuzzy vibe to it. I don't know if that's the style. It's all over. It's not like it's lint because I've tried lint rolling it. It's just a little bit of a, so I noted it. And I also priced it at 99. Some of these sell for 150. The one I have up there that doesn't have a little bit of fuzz, I'll probably price at about 150. Um, Colors matter, size matters, but this is a very, very popular dress. Um, and I found two within, <laughs> within a week of each other, very different spots in LA, so yeah. All right, this is the Ming Wang. This is the one that hasn't sold yet, but this is at least the brand tag of the one that sold earlier. They were both XLs and this one had a little bit of a spot um, on the green right there. And I just noted it but it's just a little career lightweight jacket. You know, put this over a black, with some black pants and a white top and you've got a perfect little career outfit. So um, I've, I've always wanted to find Ming Wang. Don't confuse it with MNG, which is also, I believe, Mango. That's a much cheaper brand. But Ming Wang, pretty expensive career oriented clothing and um, loyal following. So this, Possibly was the same person because it was the same area um, and it's kind of career focused, but absolutely love this color, especially for fall, winter, the black trim. This is Masuk and size large. So I have had somewhat decent luck with this brand. I don't find it all the, the time and I wouldn't spend too much on it, but the Ming Wang I'm expecting around that 40 um, and this one probably 35 just because it's a large, it's a good color. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I found two Lafayette 148 jackets or blazers and absolutely love them. Um, so this one, just, you know, just throw this over a black dress and you have just such a cute career outfit, especially if you're doing interviews like via Zoom. Um, but this is a size 12, which is a great size. This one did have some slight discoloration around the neck. It is a, it is a cream color, but I just noticed under the light, I don't know if you can see kind of compared to up here. So, um, you know, someone could get it dry clean. I would wear this as is because it's inside the neck, but I just noted it and it probably brings down the value a bit, but that's okay. This is not the same buyer or the same person. Cause this was significantly smaller. This is a size four. Love this. Oh my gosh, I'm not a size four, but I'm just tempted. Can I pull this off? I mean, oh, love this. Oh my gosh. Okay, three, four length sleeves. Um, but I mean, it's kind of retro. I love the gold. Oh my gosh, wish this. This actually, this is oversized because I have a hard time with button front anything because of the chest. And so if this is a size four, I think this is probably closer to like an eight or would fit an eight, but I... This just has to find the right buyer, but I absolutely, it's just got that carpet, retro, vintage vibe. Lafayette 148 is a very expensive brand. I don't always pick it up. I do pick it up based off of style, um, but man, just, I guess if I shrink a couple sizes, I could probably pull that off, but um, let's see. That's hard to do during the holidays, right? All right, so this is a lightweight sweater semi-sheer, just striped blue, two-tone blue. This is Basin Scotch, also known as Scotch and Soda. The one right here, they have their own sizing. So I believe this is a size small, US size small. But um, yeah, that's probably, 
So the Lafayette 148s, I'm only expecting probably in that 35 range. The uh, Scotch and Soda is actually probably 30 range. It's got a pretty loyal following. It's pretty expensive. Um, so this brand is an LA based brand. It's going to be a little hard to show, but hopefully you can see it right there. Um, I've sold this once before. It was the softest sweater I ever picked up. I was a new reseller part-time, found it, couldn't find many comps. It ended up selling for like 10 bucks because it took two years to sell and I kept bringing on the price. Um, but it was so, so, so soft. I just don't think there's a huge amount of people looking for this brand. Uh, but I decided to give it another go. It was a dollar, um, you know, sweaters right now. It's just gray. What I like about this is it's not, um, what is it called? Where it's not the same on each side. Anyways, you can see right here, this lighter part goes up to the shoulder. And then over here, it just goes to more like the armpit area. So I just like subtle details like that. Um, it is soft. I want to say there's some Angora in here, if I remember correctly. So alpaca, merino wool cashmere, cotton. So it's a blend, but it's good quality. So I'm probably only expecting about 25 if I can sell it this time, but we'll see. It's a size small. All right. This is a free people item. This was a dollar. I wouldn't have picked it up. I love mock necks. Anything that's kind of layering right now, simple, um, so I can't remember the name. I don't think I found this exact one. I found similar mock neck turtlenecks from Free People um, with the name, but I couldn't find this exact one. But Intimately Free, Free People didn't have any stains. So I decided to grab it for a dollar. Probably only gonna get about $15. Not much, maybe even only 12, but it's just a great basic. All right, this I think is adorable. There are a couple snags that I didn't notice in the store, but I did only pay a dollar for it. So uh, soft surroundings. It's a size one X it's Brown. It's got sequins. Um, so I just like the color and it's kind of fun for winter, but, um, there are a couple snags on the back and I just noted it. No, I'm not going to be able to, Oh, here's a snag up here. Um, so I just noted them. Here's a little pull in the fabric right here. But that's on the back, so they probably were just getting in and out of cars or something like that, and snagged in a couple places. I don't think it's obvious I would wear it as is, but it kind of brings down the value. Uh, still cute though. So probably only gonna get about 20 for this, um, or maybe even 15 with those snags, but. All right. I don't find black label Ralph Lauren very often. Um, you know, Ralph Lauren has so many different lines and some people know all the information. Some of it's incredibly expensive, like Ralph Lauren purple label. I've sold a couple times for lots of money. Black label, I believe is the next one down. I could be wrong. Um, or it, it is below the purple label, but you can actually put Ralph Lauren black label, Ralph Lauren purple label in Poshmark. So people are, can actually search by the different labels, but these are just a pair of Bermuda shorts. Probably going to get about 35 to 40 for these classic. You could wear these for polo, like to go to a polo tournament. You could wear them for golf if you wanted to go golfing. Just a really like classic pair of Bermuda shorts, size six. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting, but that label is fun to find. All right, this one, this isn't my style, or I would be tempted, but um, it is a size 12. It's um, got the cute little sleeves, crocheted sleeves, and then it's got the kind of layered, tiered uh, kind of shift dress. And this is Anthropology brand Maeve, size 12. Great for, you could wear this with a sweater for the holidays and then wear it for Valentine's Day for a date. Um, or you could wear red year round. You know, it never goes out of style. All right, this one I thought was adorable. When I looked up comps, they weren't great, which is not super surprising, but love the colors. This is Sparrow, another anthropology brand. Um, but wear this over, this is gonna be awkward to hold up, a sleeveless cardigan, knit cardigan with the pockets. Love the color scheme. Um, you could wear it over a short sleeve. Oh, I'm, I might keep this. <laughs> I shouldn't have put this on. Um, wear this over like a white t-shirt. So cute. I do not need it. I do not need it. Um, 
but yeah, this is a size, I think it's a small, yeah, it's a small, but it's, you know, cardigans are so easy for different sizes. So yeah, if it's, if it's listed by this video, I'm not keeping it, which is going to be a smart thing to do. I do not need it, but I love the colors. So maybe I'll get one wear out of it. All right. This I knew was probably only going to get about $10. However, I just like the color. It's a great layering piece. It's again, Maeve by Anthropology. This is a size six and it's just a little silk blouse. It's got a little bit of the color block on the back and easy, easy to layer, fun pop of color. It's kind of a bluish purple, if my eyesight is serving me correctly. All right, this one, I probably wouldn't have picked up if it were not new with tags, but it's plus size. I loved, I love these kinds of shirts that are just easy to throw on. Um, love this little fringe all over. Uh, this brand is sometimes sold at Nordstrom Rack, but it's not very expensive. Oh yeah, here's a Nordstrom Rack tag. So it's Everly. It might be sold at other places too, but here's the tag. It doesn't have the price on here, but I would probably imagine it probably ran about $30. So, you know, if I could get 15 to 20, it's a size 3X. It's new with tags, so hopefully that 20 mark, 18. But kind of semi-sheer. I think it's really cute. I think I said cute a few times in this video, but it happens. All right. This is a bone dress. This is plus size, so this is a US 16. This is definitely spring, but I usually am buying for seasons ahead. So in the next couple months, I probably will be really focused on picking up spring stuff. Um, but this is a really great little Easter dress, church dress. You could layer with a cardigan, um, but it's adorable. I love floral. So um, this one probably 25 to 30 is my guess. All right, a couple more. This brand I have sold once or twice. It's not the most exciting pickup, but it has sold for me. And anytime I see anything with like um, the UPF, meaning it's built in, um, it's great for people who are going on hikes or backpacking or fishing, um, especially this, I believe it has some venting to it. So it's great outdoor um, sign, but Kula Bar, pretty sure I've sold it a couple times. This is just a button front. It's a little oversized. It's a medium, but this would fit, this would fit me easily. So probably closer to like a large, extra large, but it's got roll top sleeves. It's got a hood, which is a lightweight hood, which is awesome. It has the venting in the back, which is nice for airflow. Um, and yeah, the UPF 50, which is great. So I want to say I'm hoping to get about 25 for this. All right, this is, I probably shouldn't have picked this one up. This is probably the one, the one that I probably should have left behind. The Lavender Label by Vera Wang. Now this is an expensive line of hers, um, but the comps just aren't that great. I've sold it a few times. I can't seem to get much for it. This is a cute skirt for winter with some, you know, tights and, um, you know, pair of fun pop of color on top. And so it is cute. It does have some pilling and I'm not gonna depill. So I'm probably only gonna get about 15 to 20 for this, but yeah, I didn't pay much, so it won't break the bank. All right, this is a Marmot sweater. Anything winter right now, brands that I like. Marmot is one of my favorite outdoor brands. Um, so you can see it right here. And this has a hood, which is really nice. It's just a fleece. Probably only gonna get about 20 to 25 for this but it's perfect for the season, so. And then last is a bag. And Bagalini is a very easy uh, brand for me to pick up just because it's kind of a consistent, you know, 20-ish, 20-ish, yeah, range. And a lot of the Bagalini bags have a lot of compartments. They're really great travel bags. This one did have a couple very faint spots on the front. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up. Um, these can be cleaned really easily, which also makes them really great for traveling. This one in particular, it has the adjustable crossbody, so you can kind of finagle how you want, but also you can slide it onto other bags, luggage, that type of stuff. So 
um, just a versatile brand. So I usually don't pay much for Bagolini's. This was only a dollar, but uh, you know, 20 to 25 is what I get for most of them. If they're super small, maybe 15, but um, yeah, that is it. That's my fun little haul. So uh, hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the thrift hauls and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.